Hey Tankers, Bonsai Duck here. Today we have a submission from EL underscore zero one from the WC TNT clan. He is in his T20. He's on Marvanka in a standard battle in a tier 8, tier 7, tier 6 game. So mid tier medium. The T20 is a pretty good tank. Um, fairly mobile. Got a, I think he's running the 90 millimeter under, aren't you? Yep, 90 millimeter with a 240 alpha and 160 pen. Of course, if he brings the APCR, he's up to 243 on the penetration, and the HE is 320 with 45. Um, it's kind of a, uh, it's not an easy tank to, to learn, but once you do learn to play it, play it, it once you do learn to play it well, uh, it can be a fun tank. Um, the reload's a little painful. Um, it's got really good, you know, view ranges. It can almost be a light. Um, but it's 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 heavy enough to, to be a medium. It, it's just it's it's kind of an all around tank. I, I enjoyed playing it. I was happy to get past it, but uh, um, it wasn't it wasn't a bad tank. So anyway, uh, El spawned it over here in the north and looks to be headed over here east to the magical forest. So El, take it away. Cup over here with the E25. Man, every time I try this maneuver, I get tore up. <laughs> but it seems to be working for him. He's getting a lot of spots. Not firing his gun, which is one good thing to help in uh, not being noticed. Although he does, does he? He cracks under the pressure. Has to take a shot on it. T29, but didn't get anything off of it. Going for the commander's hatch? Nope. Okay. Well, you spotted a lot of tanks. You didn't get a lot of spotting damage out of this. And puts one into the side of the GF. I don't know why I'm sitting back like this. <laughs> oh, not a way. I rely too much on auto aim lately, and I think it's been punishing me. So uh, it's always better to zoom in if you can. Yeah, the bloom on the T20 on the T20 is a little painful. Nope, I'm not penetrated. Although he would have penetrated, I think he might be down below a hill. God, you guys are just murdering them over here. Oh, T-150, and down he goes. There you go. <clears throat> the T-20 does take a little bit of punishment. I mean, it can take some, some good punishment. I mean, so it's not going to... It's not going to be one of those uh, mediums or you know, heavy lights that just melts under pressure. I mean, it can take a few hits. It's like a Timex. It takes a licking and keeps on ticking, right? Yeah. For those who remember those commercials. <laughs> oh, nice OI. Nice side shot of an OI. There you go. There's 223 for you. Seventy-five running around. All right. Well, they seem to have stemmed the bleeding on their side, and now I've got you guys kind of pushing into their campers, which is always painful, and it does end up usually generally costing some some tanks because they have the advantage at that point, right? You're really getting a lot of spots, just not a lot of spotting damage. Alright, moving up on the Carnivon, and you guys are doing the... I guess this is classic, classic how this, this map is one, is, you know, people... Uh, you know, you get a group of force that can hold the west side while the east side moves through the magical forest, is a magical forest and pushes them. Uh, allowing the magical force to come through heading north and uh, 
push everybody back over here against the west wall, the western flank. So that sure took a long time to say. But <laughs> I hope you all got what I meant. <laughs> oh, wait, we're looking at the IKB. Yeah, oh, nice. Some good TDs and some bad teamwork on your side could really turn could turn this game around very quickly. Um, some, some good shots and, and you know good TDs on their side, but it doesn't seem to be happening. Oh, nice work on that on that Panther M10. You're really taking your time for your shot selection. I like that EL. That's that's um shows the growth in your game. It's almost like you're working, you, you can actually see you thinking about, okay, which ones do I want next? Who, who am I going to go after next? Uh, Ferdinand's a tough tank to take from the front, so you know, charging straight at him is probably not advisable. <laughs> That's why. He can put some serious hurt on you and he's tough on the front end. Get the there you go. Nice. And that's a victory. Alright, EL, well you get a second class, a hand of God. Fire for effect, 23,858 in credits, 4,420 in experience. Let's see. You um, did 1,719 in damage, got one kill for a base XP of 884. So that puts you number three in base XP, which that's what I kind of gauge my play on is where I rack up in that base XP in the top five, ten, somewhere in there. And, you know, you consider the most missions or, you know, stuff that's what they're looking at so i always try to judge myself by that and generally it correlates to how much damage i've got or you know if i'm in a lower tier tank tank playing a upper tier team you know so on and so forth so you know real good work there let's see you fired 14 shots of those 10 hit and of those seven penetrated so your shot to hit to penetration is you know your your shot to hit is not bad your penetration is lacking a little that could just be the gun could be where you're aiming you're taking your time to get to, to for your shot selections. Um, you know, taking on the Ferdinand frontally is not advisable with a 90 millimeter. It's it's not going to hit that often. So you know, again, it's it's looking at what you're shooting at when you're shooting. You know, what part of the tank you're shooting at. I I really like the shot selection. The taking the time for the shot selection. Um, you did 223 from 300 meters out, and you detected for 837 free-to-play account so you still made some good credits and you made some really good experience so all in all you know el i think it was a heck of a game um you know when i first pulled it up i thought oh okay is this you know but just though it wasn't a you know spectacular game you know ace tanker type of thing what you showed me in this is that you're you're, you're learning you're i can see the the the, the the things are clicking in your head and that's to me that's better than anything because you're gonna you're gonna from this point forward you know you're gonna just gonna start progressing further and further and further so um i think it was a really good game el so anyway that's el underscore zero one from the wc tnt clan in his t20 on Morvanka. if you like the video hit the like button keep those videos coming i greatly appreciate it this is bonsai duck out